you, Stefan. Well, right now in the Bronx, members of the community are coming together to help clean up after the looting and vandalism swept across Fordham and Grand Concourse. Uh, many of these businesses were in the midst of restocking and preparing to reopen as shutdown protocols are about to be lifted. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live in the Tremont section with more. Derek. Yeah, David, so many people out here on the Grand Concourse with brooms and dustpans cleaning up and check out some of this damage. This is just an example here. Uh, you see they busted out the window on this gym, stole the computers down on the floor. That's an empty cash register. A worker here actually told us that was empty when they closed a couple of months ago. If you walk down the street with me right here, you can see behind me uh, this car that is completely burned out. It had TLC plates on it, likely an Uber car. And as you can see, somebody set this car on fire. This is just one example of so much chaos last night. This is like um, uh, 30 years of hard work going down the drain. It's a family business now destroyed. Leo De Los Santos walked into his Burnside Avenue liquor store for the first time this morning after looters broke in and ransacked the store. The lock on the front still intact. Inside, they knocked over bottles and even destroyed the camera system. This is not the way that you uh, make a point. Destroying people's property, that's not the way. Down the block, cell phone video shows crowds lifting up the gate on this T-Mobile store. Today, here's what's left. Not a phone in sight. At this bank, thieves ripped out the ATM. This shoe store also robbed. Looters freely walking around with stolen liquor and new shoes in plain sight. On the Grand Concourse, more destruction. Someone cut through the gate at this jewelry store. And at this pharmacy, the glass counters are knocked over. The shelves bare. Where you gonna go? T-Mobile, jewelry, the cashier, the pharmacy. I mean, come on, like, look. Newscopter 7 also captured video of fires burning in the streets. On social media, video circulating shows the moments before police sergeant got run over by that black sedan. We skipped the moment of impact. The Sergeant's Benevolent Association tweeting this video of an officer standing alone being beat up and knocked to the ground. The police had a rough night last night. Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. says the cops got caught flat-footed. Last night they were caught by surprise because, you know, they didn't understand that it was going to happen here. They were saying that tonight it was going to be a Bay Plaza. I think it will go a long way if they come in early and just block off. You know, the side block. Today, he's joining neighbors in cleaning up and calling for change. The destruction is everywhere you look. It hurts. It hurts, okay? Seeing my neighborhood destroyed like this, for what? And so right now you're looking at live pictures of really what's an army of young people who've come together. They're volunteering and they're cleaning up their neighborhood. You see they're cleaning up this glass and debris that's left over from last night, really trying to show the world that that looting and violence you saw is not who they are. Some people also making the point that these businesses were already struggling because of the coronavirus. Many of them uh, certainly, you can imagine, may not come back from this. The community now stepping in to help. Report